welcome, 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 welcome. Today we're going to be doing our chakra and energy balancing. And I want you to just relax. This week has been the week of relaxation, turning off the brain and just allowing yourself to be not going against the current, but going with the current, being patient and letting the things you need pop up. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. And with your permission, may I say a prayer? Okay. Dear Mother, Father, God, and all for our highest good people, connect us as a community, root us down in our own healing journeys. Please let things come only for our highest vibrational good. Please connect us to the Reiki Masters, the Ascendant Masters, Master Jesus, Master Buddha, Master Katumi, our Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Spirit Animals, our Ancestors, and all for our highest good. Connect us to the energy of the Spirit, the Divine, the Oneness. And I say all of this in the name of I Am. I share. Beautiful. So if you're new to the community, please subscribe, like, and most importantly, comment because you know I love to hear what's going on with you. So we're going to open up with uh, some smudging and some traditional Reiki symbols. Then we're going to move to balancing each chakra. We're going to close it all up. I'll let you know if there's any intuition that comes up for community as we're going through our practice today. Remember, we all have our individual things that we're going through. And when we come together, this is just what we're experiencing as community. So let's go ahead and get started. And as I said before, when I say a prayer, it is not a religious prayer. And when I do healing and healing work, I actually go through a purification process myself. I come into the space and I want to make sure that I'm as clear um, and clean as possible as I go into the space. And as I was doing my purif purification um, pattern, you could say ritual, but I say pattern. Um, I was really, really thinking about the need to heal uh, from religious pain. So if you've seen any other videos, you know that I say that the prayer is not religious. But it's not to say that it is irreligious and that, you know, uh, religion is so bad. I'm just trying to be um, very transparent and aware that there's a lot of people in spiritual paths who have been deeply damaged by religious institutions and to help connect them back into their spiritual path means we have to clear out all of that religiosity and root a person down in their spiritual faith and faith and maybe you know religion comes back into play maybe a different religion than what uh, they were born into maybe it doesn't you know going to a religious institution doesn't isn't um, the same as rooting down in your spiritual path and you can actually have a spiritual path never go to a religious institution and have a deep and profound connection with God it's just we're hoping and the hope is and it is for some people that the religious institution cre is the conduit and is the facilitator and creates the space for that spiritual path and unfortunately sometimes people have been hurt deeply especially people in the queer community um, those in the queer community uh, and even if we get into the statistics of trans feminine and trans masculine teenagers they're at some of the highest rates of homelessness and suicide in populations and it's with a heavy heart to, you know, to admit that a lot of that comes from, unfortunately, religious rhetoric. So clearing that out as well as um, different people and different paths um, is really, really, really 
important because we have to have connection to the universe, to God, whatever it is we want to call it. Um, because that roots us down in who we are. It makes us strong. It gives us courage. So right now I'm just working with the aura right now. So just relax. You're doing a great job. Just go ahead and take anything that's taking up too much space. Again, going to take anything that's taking up too much space. Anything, anything that's taking up too much space. You are doing an excellent job. Okay, let me go ahead and just... Frame your face. Just allow you to relax. That's the most important thing at all. Is that you relax. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our traditional Reiki hand symbols. So just get as comfortable as possible. Be in a gesture of reception, which is the palms facing up. You can put it on your lap, put it on the side. Um, sit up with a straight spine. If you're lying back, you can just lie down with a straight spine. Before we start, you can just do a full body stretch um, to make the body as long as possible. And when you're ready, just take three deep breaths in. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Final breath. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Okay, Good job. Okay, continue to breathe here. And I want you to, to just feel your own individual prayer and the prayers of gratitude and reverence towards life, towards God, towards being able to have this experience and letting go of the baggage of the past. So just Good job. Just breathe that in. Let's take a couple of moments, a gesture of receiving. job so let's get into each individual chakra we have our um, root chakra candle this is a nice money candle and you're gonna hear me say it over and over again um, until you get interested in astrology <laughs> the Taurus is what go ahead and say it <laughs> Uranus is retrograde in Taurus. So live below your means or at least at your means. This is a time to budget. This is a time to um, be realistic, to embody earth signs. Earth signs, it's not about a lot of thinking. It's not a lot about a, a lot of action. It's not a lot. It's not about emotion. It's about consistency simplifying it to one thing and doing it and doing it and doing it so with Taurus it's self-worth external that's money internal that's self-esteem so every time that you come to this space in this practice we're working on that internal work to ground down okay so we are 
pulling that energy up, receiving that conscious energy right there on your crown. And as you leave and you go out in your life, you're pulling that energy back down, a gesture of manifesting and bringing it to the physical world, physicality. That's Taurus. Okay. So I'm working with an amethyst, deep purple amethyst wand today. Very beautiful, very rich in color. Gives me like, looks like the universe kind of thing. Gives a little bit of smoky quartz vibe. This is for the crown chakra, but we're going to use it for everything because what it is is a representation of our highest vibrational path. And what we want to do is we want each chakra to remove any lower vibrational patterns, release it to the transformational flame of Saint Germain, which is represented by our candle here, and we can continue to move on. So let's go ahead and start at the root chakra, that understanding. So just connect with the flame. And whenever you exhale, just imagine that you're sending that here. This is moving it forward in its evolutionary path. So instead of thinking of positive and negative and things are evil and good, think about it in a vibrational thing, a vibrational state. Things that are lower vibrational are things that are primitive. And when we carbon base, because we're made of carbon, um, when we carbon base, um, spiritual beings in this physical car carbon body come into contact with these lower vibrational experiences, we're perceiving them as evil, bad, negative, and things like that. We have to change our body to be less receptive to them. And the only way you can do that is raise your vibration. If you raise your vibration, that means you have to let go of people, situations, and circumstances. And that is a transition that can be tough. But if you rise to the occasion where we talk about knuckle up, then you're going to be completely fine. It's going to take some time. Your knees might be shaking, but just continue to walk as you're walking through the pro process. Don't let fear turn an opportunity that is challenging into a trauma. Okay, I'm going to get off my soapbox now. So I'm going to start that out. And I'm going to work right here at your, your uh, root. Take this hand, put it behind you, and then go ahead and just put this on your wrist. Three deep breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Two more, good job, inhale. Exhale. Final breath, inhale. Exhale. Breathe normal here. Sending that energy with the power of the amethyst to your root to let go. Watching the candle. Allowing it to move. Good job. Good job. Send it right there. Good job. Send it. God, please balance out the root chakra of the community, allowing us to let go of any people, situations, or circumstances that are lower vibrational and primitive and keep us from moving forward in our higher vibrational path. Please allow us the protection and the guidance to move forward during this transition. As we know, transitions can be difficult. Please protect our mind and our emotions so that we are not perceiving this transition as something bigger than what we can overcome. Please allow our feet to root down in the earth, centering it down to the earth, neutralizing any negativity and grounding us down, allowing our thoughts to calm, our emotions to release, our actions to be focused and consistent, to root down in the lineage of our ancestors, to call upon our archangels and to God the universe or whatever it is that feels right in our individual hearts. And we do all of this in the So, giving some insight during that um, route, I was feeling, and by feeling, it wasn't actually a feeling. It was more of knowing, um, but sometimes I don't use the term knowing because I don't want someone to think that is the all right answer. Um, 
what you feel no experience is more valid for your experience uh, and what I'm doing is just giving something general for community so take it as you need and listen to yourself first because that's what we're talking about here autonomy having power owning your power and trusting in yourself first so what I know and what's coming to mind during our root balancing is that um, just this deep connection in this root coming down to the center of the earth as a representation of our ancestors so if you are ever feeling alone or feeling like you don't have what you need from the people around you or even if you have a lot of people around you you feel like you just don't feel like um, you have the support you need and they may not even be negative but it's just you don't feel that way understand that you are always surrounded by higher vibrational spiritual health those ancestors when you go into your meditative practice which is your personal self-care practice you're clearing out and you're continuing that lineage you're clearing out any lower vibrational patterns found in this current life and in that lineage of your ancestors past lives and things like that and when you take responsibility for clearing those things out your own life and even your lineage you raise everyone up so your ancestors are then there and able to help you and guide you and give you that intuition and light your way even further so you're not dependent on being accepted in the physical or those around you or you'll be able to be more patient so that's what was coming up right then and there for the root we're going to move to the navel the sacral area in a moment oh my gosh that's so good that's green tea mint <laughs> Well, moving up now to that sacral navel area. Just take those same three deep breaths. This time I'm going to let you do it on your own. Balancing. Remember, you have that candle to connect with. So go ahead and connect to it. Every exhale, exhaling that energy into the candle. Inhale, positive rejuvenating light. Exhale. Letting something go. Final breath. Okay. Taking this hand, putting it behind you. Having your amethyst. I'm feeling already the, the, the sensation, the physical reaction of like letting something go. It's coming up and coming out. Okay. God, please balance out the sacral, the navel chakra. So that we may birth into this life our babies, whether that is physical babies or creativity babies. Let this also balance our endocrine system, our hormonal system, so that everything is connected properly throughout our entire body. And it circulates in an efficient way, allowing our other systems in our bodies to be as efficient as possible. Please open up this creativity and allow us to trust our natural creativity and go with the current so that we may bring forth into life all of these beautiful gifts that we have. Let us pull up from the root our ancestors in that neutralizing energy so that we may remain calm and trusting as we go forth in this path. And I say all of this in the name of I am a shame. Okay. So just working in the aura, your boundaries. You know, creativity is one of those things where you can feel very, very vulnerable. It's still lower um, chakra stuff, but at the same time, you know, it talks about that balance of vulnerability. That's why we need to have boundaries, because if we want to be open and vulnerable, to our creativity we need to have the appropriate boundaries we need to know that we're not just completely open and receptive to any old thing that comes our way because then literally any old thing will come our way we also don't want to make sure that we're so reserved that we're not able to put our creativity out there um, that is fertility in general fertility on your creative project or fertility on babies just 
finding that balance, being open, being connected, knowing that you have the ancestors, the archangels, God, whatever it is around you, that boundaries, that energy, and you yourself are a defense. You're that defensive line to prevent anything that will throw your energy off. So being able to be open there and at the same time having those boundaries so that when people come across you, they will respect you as opposed to um, trying to control you or be aggressive with you or be submissive to you. That's not the point. The point is that they respect you and that you all can connect in a shared love for something. And it's your love that lights the way their love. And then you have this reverence towards life because you can see it in others you see it in yourself first okay beautiful we're moving up now to the solar plexus that is the space of confidence okay take those breaths two more final breath okay god please Give us the confidence here in our solar plexus so that we may move forward in all of our gifts and that we may stand in who we are and we may accept ourselves, the core of who we are, our spirit and our soul right now without needing to prove anything and having enough trust in ourselves that we can be consistent enough to bring our goals into life and to raise our vibrational path. Please connect to the sacral into the root chakra and bring our inner energy up and our energetic balance up allow this energy to flow upwards downwards and continue in a pattern motion so that we have a clearing and say all of this in the name of i am and what came out there in the solar plexus for community was self-acceptance you have to accept yourself and this is that's actually a lot of spiritual work is accepting yourselves. You may come into this life, especially if you're someone who is an overgiver or a martyr. Sometimes that can be an indication of not accepting yourselves. You feel that you are not worthy of um, being. Uh, the, uh, I want to say balanced, but you feel like you're not worthy of having boundaries. You feel that you're at the whim of the wind blowing back and forth, that you have to do it. And we got to move out of that. That's kind of the age of Pisces kind of thing. The age of Aquarius kind of thing is we're all strong. We're all, and I'm going to say godlike, but I don't mean that in the like, you can be aggressive, but we all have the light in us equally and that you got to take care of yourself and you got to be responsible for yourself first. So you don't need to be aggressive towards others and you also don't need to be submissive towards others. Work on yourself and see your people around you as making as community rather than dependent on how you feel. Moving up now to the heart. Okay. Breathing here, breathing in and out. God, please connect us to our purpose so that we have a higher light and higher channel to this. Connect us to the lower chakras and the upper chakras. Allow our heart to open up to maintain the connection to whatever it is that is pulling us forward for our highest good only. And allow us to release any old situations, people, or circumstances that is preventing us from moving on. And I say all this in the name of the I am. Good job, good job job okay moving this up to the throat breathing here we're gonna make this simple and sweet god please allow us to speak our truth speak it with confidence speak it with clarity speak up in situations where we feel that we uh, are being oppressed and to create a platform for those who are being oppressed in situations that we feel privileged let us speak from passion in our heart. Let us be patient and listen first. But let us always make sure that we maintain our self-respect and have that respect onto others. I say all of this in the name of I am. Good job, good job. Moving now to that third eye. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and take this tip, put that right there. Go ahead, take a breath. Good job. Okay. Remember, exhaling to the right, placing it right there on your third eye. Good job. Okay, put my hand behind. God, please connect us to that psychic intuition for our own path. Allow us to trust that. Allow it to connect to all the lower chakras and the upper chakra as well and the continuation of chakras. Allow us to see our path and in our meditation practice, continue to root down in this, to trust ourselves and to not doubt ourselves and to release any thoughts, emotions, feelings, or patterns that are no longer serving us. Releasing that all in the name of I am, Ashe, Ashe. And now let's finally pull up that crown chakra. Okay? Pulling it up. That's your connection to God, your higher self, the universe. Okay. Okay. Going here to the upper chakra now. The crown. Holding your head. God, please connect us to you and allow us to know that we are loved beyond man. We are loved beyond measure and matter. That our spiritual and physical development has a path that is there for us to hold on to at any time. And that we have you. And we are so thankful to be connected. Connecting this energy of the upper to the lower. Energy flowing up, flowing down, and in a pattern. And I say all of this in the name of I. Sealing your aura with the sign of the infinity. Washing it through. Letting it go. Okay, good job. Let's go ahead and disconnect. Using our hands to the pulse. Disconnecting you. Just continue to breathe and relax. How do you feel? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now, here's your homework. Do your meditation practice. Five minutes. That's it. You can get something like the Calm app. You can go on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, whatever your platform is. Listen to meditation music. Sometimes I like to just put earplugs in and just relax. But until next time, if no one has said it to you, I'll say it to you. So proud of you, and I know you have some beautiful gifts coming.